This show is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find the other great shows on the network, head over to the Deluxe Edition Network.com. Bev's Video Kingdom is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Bev's Video Kingdom really is brought to you by... What the fuck? What's up, dude? One of my renters broke the toilet again. That dude takes giant shits. I know what I'm doing tomorrow. Why don't you hire a property management company or something to take care of that stuff? Because they suck, and they take 10%. You know, our dude Hank owns and manages Heritage Realty Partners. I think he said he only charges 5%, and he visits each property at least once a month. That's right. He's always posting beers from the road. You have his number? Actually, I do. His personal number is 805-451-5734. Perfect. Now he can deal with my renter's big shits. Heritage Realty Partners. For all your property management and investment needs. What does that music mean? Somebody's getting played off the stage tonight, right, boys? Oh, it's that time I'm, of I'm, season. I'm guessing it's Zach. Is Zach going to get played off the stage? <laughs> <laughs> on delay? He's going to be like, I on delay, they're, 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 he's going to be up there on the screen, and they're gonna be like, no, let's turn that dude I on. think he's plus 700 in Vegas right now to get pulled. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Absolutely. Hey, folks, tonight it is the BVK. It's a draft episode, but this draft is one of those special ones because – Uh, Just about a year ago, we did the first annual Bevy Awards, and the Bevy Awards are a little special night for us where we get to reminisce on some of our episodes that we have covered over the last uh, year, and we go ahead and do a redraft Oscar style to go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, right some wrongs, help out some people that have been snubbed. And, you know, just try to make our own little version of the Oscars. You mean actually pick good movies to win Oscars instead of some of the shit art films that actually get nominated every year? Yeah, something like that. Something you know, like we, we slap each other around a little bit, you know, oh. just to kind of keep it a little bit uh, topic, topically topical. I don't, I don't know about right and wrongs, but I'm trying to wrong some rights, bud. I'm ready. <laughs> That's the way we're going to do it. Uh, before we get going, though, we are the Bev, Bev's Video Kingdom. We are a part of the Deluxe Edition Network. And the podcast of the month this month is the Bev's Video Kingdom podcast. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I was, Did we just adopt like the Ohio State's moniker of adding the to our name? I think so. We are the Brad just said the Bev's, Bev's, Bev's Video, Video Kingdom. Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Franca, outside linebacker, the <laughs> Bev's Video Kingdom. Well, when you're part the of the when, 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 you're, when you're part of the month, it's the, the Bev's yeah. Video. We're not yeah. Bev's Video Kingdom. We're no. the Bev's right. Video Kingdom. Yeah, Brad Franca, independent hey, let podcaster. Me, let me tell the you guys, Bev's Video Kingdom. <laughs> the Bev's. Let me tell you guys a little story, please. So I got off the plane, and they fucking these motherfuckers checked my bag while I was getting on the plane, and I was like, "No, this will fit in the overhead." And they were like, "No, we have to check it." And I was like, "All right." So then when I got off the plane, I had to line up with all of these people to get my bag. And they were pulling all the bags out. And they were like, I've got a green bag. I've got a silver Swiss Army bag. I've got blah, blah, blah bag. And then they pulled my bag. And in front of everybody, they're like, Bev's Video Kingdom? Because I have a huge Bev's Video Kingdom sticker on my bag. And they were like, Bev's Video Kingdom? And I was like, oh, that's Dude, did, ah, <laughs> How so, many people ran up to you and were like, oh my god! Like, just going it was, nuts. It was pandemonium. <laughs> it was fucking insane, dude. I was signing autographs. It was fucking oh, crazy. They dude. were like, are you Zach from Bev's Video Kingdom? I was like, I was like, yeah, that's me. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the guy. So it was pretty dope. <laughs> I love your dick jokes. <laughs> Well, I mean, they, they were just saying they love my dick. They just yeah, said I, I love your say, dick. I, I think, I think, I don't yeah. think they had to say anything about jokes. 
Uh, yeah. So, and also speaking of uh, Deluxe Edition Network, we have something special going on right now with uh, the network is putting on the Denny's. So uh, again, it's not to be confused with the Bevies, and and you know we are right. charging them a nice, uh, yeah. a, a good uh, yeah, amount. We were, we were first. Right? Yeah, because I mean, the Bevies. This is the second annual. This is the first ever Denny's. We're look, so. I'm looking at you, Casey. Yeah, uh-huh. Casey. What we the were. fuck, man. <laughs> But Pirate. Just just slip us another envelope of money and and we'll we'll just chill, you know. So they that we are doing, um, we are up for podcast of the year on the network, the network as we like to call it. So if you go to deluxeeditionnetwork.com, you can go on there and vote as many times as possible. Let's stuff that ballot box. Um, we don't care what the rules are, but let's make us win. Let's give us that championship belt because there literally is a championship belt. And then we also have a category on there: most memorable stoner in a film which is literally our first round of draft picks from the, the draft that we did. Um, and so we can talk a little bit of shit about that too. And, and so see who had the best pick in the first round. Um, so I'm, I'm get out there and stuff, stuff that box guys. Just if, stuff if, that box. If you Let's guys, go. Yeah, for sure. And if you guys know how many people we had to pleasure just to get nominated for, for podcast of the year, you know, you, you're going to understand we did a lot of work. So you guys can put in a little work for us just to make up for the work that we put in ourselves. Those lips were made for sucking. <laughs> <laughs> you can cut that. <laughs> All right. He just came out. He just like fucking <laughs> roared out of the box right there. Uh, oh, shit. All right. So, folks, it is the bevies. It is the bevies tonight. And we have, I, I, I looked it up. I've done a little research here. We've done 27 movies since the uh, the last bevies. And so real quick, I'm just going to run through those movies. So you're familiar with the movies we will be drafting from. So these are the, uh, we had to take all of our, our choices from these 27 movies. And so they are as follows. Spaceballs, Ex Machina, Fight Club, Coming to America, There's Something About Mary, Drinking Buddies, Four Christmases, Gremlins, Gross Point Blank, The Departed, Jerry Maguire, High Tension, Days and Confused, Boogie Nights, This is Spinal Tap, Goodwill Hunting, Spotlight, Taken, Angus, Tommy Boy, The Rules of Attraction, Top Gun, Hell or High Water, Terminator 2, Children of Men, Billy Madison, and Rush. And I would be lying if I didn't say that there's a couple on this list that I was like, oh, fuck, we did that movie. That's right. <laughs> I legitimately I legitimately don't remember doing Top Gun as a movie. Did we Did we do Top Gun on the podcast? We 100% uh-huh. did. Yep. Right, right, as, right around as Top Gun Maverick was coming out. Such a dog shit movie. I can't believe we actually did that. That's fucking awesome. I love that. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, I think like as far as like if we're doing a running tab of like how great the movies are that we've done, I'm going to go with. Top Gun taking last place, followed by High Tension. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I do have a question for you, boys. Uh, before we get into the bevies here, I, I do have a question for you. So we did 27 total movies. My question to you is, so we're going to be drafting tonight our favorite best picture, our best actor, our best actress, and our best director from those movies, those 27 movies that we've done. Of those 27 movies, considering those four categories... How many do you think were nominated in those four categories of our of our and not not movies, but how many total nominations between those twenty seven movies do you think so, our twenty seven movies have? So combined picture, director, actor, actress. picture, actor, actress, director. <clears throat> how many nominations for either of those categories do you think our twenty seven movies have in total? Shit, I mean, I'm wow. gonna go with four. Wow. I'm gonna go with I'll, I'll go Goodwill, with Goodwill Hunting has three of them. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll go with uh, I'll go with nine. Nate Dog, how many like, Oscar nominations? Nominations so or, between, or wins? Nominations between best picture, oh, shit. best actor, best actress, best director. In total of our 27 movies, how many total nominations do you think they have in those categories? I think 12. I can think of. I mean, I'll, I, I'm gonna stick with nine. I'm gonna say at I least 12. 12. And Zach, you said four. Oh, yeah, Jerry Maguire too. Jerry Maguire. I'm I, well, I fucking won this going. Well, I bet it's twenty. Now that I'm saying it. Yeah, it is ten total nominations. Are you fucking kidding me? How many? Ooh. There's like six that are best. I was picture. closest. And Wait a under. minute, weren't you seven? I said nine. We're, we're, he was <laughs> closest. Oh, <I> don't <laughs> um, so five nominations for best picture out of our twenty-seven. Two nominations for best actor. Zero nominations for best actress, and three nominations for best director. Out of the twenty-seven movies That's we've right. done in the last year, wow, we know That's how to right pick them. Brand. I love that. <laughs> of those ten nominations, how many wins do we do we think we have here? Well, I know Cuba won. 
think we. I think I think five. But but, but here's, here's, a, here's, a, here's a supporting, so it doesn't count, right? Was this? Did you count Cuba Gooding Jr. as as a a win? I no. would not because he was a supporting. <laughs> That's right. Damn it. Okay. Well, there's at least two, at least two best picture winners on at least one screenplay. I'd say five. Oh, oh. probably Departed. Depart- I don't know. Departed and Spotlight. I don't think Departed. I'll say three. You're you're right on. It is three. Scott's three wins out of our ten nominations. Why is Scott so good at this? This is he's why just listening make, to what you say. And and why, does just it, why does it make adjusting. me so mad? <laughs> <laughs> but Nate, you had him right though. Spotlight and Departed are the two best uh, best pictures. Right. Those Scorsese were winners. Wins for Departed. Right. We had five nominations for best picture uh, uh, out of our movies, and so two of those won. Um, and then Scorsese, director, was the one win out of the three nominations for director. Only win. That's crazy. I, I guess I was forgetting that like we were only doing those screenplay. Yeah, yeah. Hunting it, screenplay. Screenplay, best supporting. Best There's supporting, a lot of supporting yeah. actors and stuff. I have it. I have it all listed here, and I, I don't need to go through it. But I, I think it would get kind of too many spoilers. But yeah, Wahlberg was a, a, a supporting nom for for Departed. Um, Cuba Gooding won supporting. Who else? Oh, Burt Reynolds, Julianne Moore, both supporting. Right. So there's a lot of supporting actors that were nominated, um, and I didn't even look at screenplay. So, so yeah. So we've got some some wrongs to right. If you look at these movies, though, it kind of surprises me. I'm like looking, and I'm like, yeah. holy shit! Like only ten nominations out of the movies, and we we did some bangers. Like we've got some some great movies in this list, and I'm surprised that we only have ten nominations. That, that just tells you that the Academy sucks balls. Well, so that's why yeah. I, I, made I, mean, that comment, I made that comment. I made that comment earlier. Part. It's it's you know they pick these movies. I have not seen. Or do I want to see a single movie that's nominated this year for anything that I can think of? I mean, I guess I honestly think that it's it's just a mismatch between the pop culture of the thing and the and the, the like aim of the same thing, right? Uh-huh. I mean, I guess from the perspective of like a pure art evaluation, it it, it probably is good, but we're just not cinephiles, and right. most people aren't, right? The money, right, the, the the popular idea, there there are intersections, but there's a lot of stuff that is just not, you know, like, it's not super digestible for people that aren't looking for, not just, like, unique, but, like, artistically unique or technical, and so I, I think that, like, more than half of the stuff, especially in some of the, the like, film and directing categories, you're just like, I don't I don't know how to appreciate that. I mean, yeah. that's what you're really saying, and I don't feel bad about it. Yeah, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm I, I do like the expansion to ten <clears throat> pictures for the best picture. Like the fact okay. that they've gone to ten nominations now. That, I mean, Top Gun Maverick. And again, you gotta understand, we are recording this before the Oscars come out. This will release, I think, after the Oscars. So, uh, if Top Gun Maverick won Best Picture and and the world has <laughs> exploded, I mean. Shit, that happens. But it right. was nominated, which to me was wild. Right. It was nominated for Best Picture. And, and they're allowing some of those fan favorites, those right. just enjoyable movies. Because I'm not going to argue. Tom, Top Gun Maverick was an enjoyable fucking watch at the theater. Um, Dude, but, but, but then that's the most insane thing I've ever heard. Like, <laughs> fucking, are you kidding me? It's it was, nominated for Best Picture. Oh, no, no. But I'm saying it was enjoyable to watch. And, and <laughs> the fact that they've expanded to 10 can allow some of those enjoyable movies to, to end up in that conversation. Right. Did you see Top Gun Maverick? I, so, no. so I'll never watch it. Are you fucking exactly, kidding me? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know, man. Them expanding it to ten and allowing some of those movies in just feels like a participation trophy type I, thing. I, I'm kind of, I mean, I'm you know? torn about this, but I, yeah. I, I have, that was kind of my take. Yeah, too. it's like, oh, okay, we're gonna expand it and let some of these movies in, and they have a fucking they no chance, chance of winning at all. I know, but at least they I get the, they recognized. Get, yeah, they get recognized rather than just it's like five artsy movies you've never seen. You're like, fuck. I mean, I, I think that's. A, I guess I, my thought is. I don't. I don't remember the last time there was five. You know, like even when there were five, there were five art movies that like right. no one had seen. Right. right. Like it, the problem is that you get two or three sometimes of the five back in the day, and similar proportion now, and, uh, and more often than not, well, uh, at least it's ha- half as often one of those wins, right? But I'm saying the intersection. You know, like we're talking about the Departed, Spotlight. Those fucking movies are a phenomenal movies. Right. And they are, I mean, you know, they're also super enjoyable, huge box office, right? So those overlap. Yeah. But, I mean, I just I just think it's, you know, given that the Oscars is marketed to this jam- mass audience way beyond the cinephiles and the, like, super insiders that are really in the academy, you're like, well, that's, that's the shit, that the disconnect that happens. Well, as I'm saying, it's always, to me, it's like, how many people get out Shakespeare in Love to go check that out, like, recently? I mean... 
Uh, Nate, you might have. I but. just finished it actually. <laughs> <you know. laughs> but I'm saying like it's yeah. like that was uh, that I was just, oh I so just much Oscar chalk a lot goop <laughs> man goop chalk a lot just chilling. <laughs> so in some of these movies that get attention, it's like the movies that were around that same time that that have now way overshadowed it and are, are still talked about today. But yet they lost to some of these these art films. It's just it's kind of annoying to me. But whatever. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fix that right now. We're gonna go ahead and do something because today is. That's right, Full. Whether Although it's not traditional, we are doing a draft today, and it's going to be a five-rounder. Um, the fifth round is locked in. It's going to be our wild card, our, where we're going to get to make up our own. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you mean it's not traditional? Oh, the tri- Oh, sorry. Oh, I was lost. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? We just did a movie. Oh, okay. I, I'm, back. I'm back. We're good. So, so we're going to do the fifth round where we basically get to create our own Academy Award category, and, and that will be uh, uh, the fifth round. But for one, two, three, and four – you're going to have the ability to take whatever you want. You can take best picture, best actor, best actress, or best director in any uh, order that that the draftee prefers. They, in the end, though, they have to draft one from each of those categories, and they cannot draft from the same movie twice. Right, which is something that you guys just dropped on me right now. And it hurts me. And it also, hurts me a little and bit. Also one year ago. <laughs> it hurts me a little bit, but we'll see. Yeah, we did do it a year ago. You, well, I wasn't you were the here. Judge. I was the judge, you and, the I, judge. and I didn't so you know were involved that. Judge. In the, literally, you literally made this rule up. <laughs> <laughs> or at least I'm going to say that now. Right. All right, folks. Um, I believe we need a, a draft order. Oh. Please. And, you know, considering last week or, or uh, the last draft, we had uh, Chad GPT got involved in this nonsense and and decided to give us this wacky story. I thought, you know, let's just hit back. Let's hit Chat GPT up once more and uh, go ahead and see what Chat GPT says about this draft. Now, were there any prompts about Sir Reginald? Um, no, we're, okay. I, I decided, you know what, I'm going topically <laughs> topical. We've got space balls. It's going to be related to space balls and sci-fi. So that's basically the only kind of things I pushed it towards. Okay. Other than that, I said give us a draft order and, for and, our and movie podcast. Have you read this yet? No, it's it's going to be showing up right as I okay. click this button. Oh, so. this is good. I cannot <laughs> wait. All right, folks, here we go. Let's see what ChatGPT gives us. For the first time. In a galaxy far, far away, there was a planet called Bez Video Kingdom. It was a small but prosperous planet known for its love of movies. In fact, the president's ruler, Queen Beverly, was a movie aficionado and had her own movie draft <laughs> podcast where she would draft movies with her co-hosts, Zach, Brad, Scott, and Nate. One day, Queen Beverly received a transmission from the a notorious space pirate, Dark Helmet. He demanded that he be allowed to participate in the movie draft podcast, and he challenged the group to a game of Spaceballs Roulette to determine the draft order. Queen Beverly, being the fair and just ruler she was, agreed to Dark Helmet's challenge. The game of Spaceballs Roulette was a treacherous game where participants were strapped into a giant roulette wheel and spun around at high speeds. As the wheel slowed down, each participant was launched into a different section of the galaxy. The first one to return to Bez Video Kingdom would get the first pick in the movie draft. The second return would get the second pick, and so on. Zach, Brad, Scott, and Nate nervously strapped themselves into the roulette wheel and braced for impact. As the wheel spun faster and faster, they felt their stomachs churn and their heads spin. Suddenly, the wheel stopped, and they were all launched into different parts of the galaxy. Zach found himself on a desert planet filled with sandworms. Brad landed on a planet made entirely of candy. Scott was transported to a planet with sentient ro- robots. And Nate found himself on a planet inhabited by giant talking mushrooms. That checks out. <laughs> <laughs> they all knew they had to find a way back to Bez Vito Kingdom quickly if they wanted a chance at the first pick in the movie draft. With the help of some strange creatures they encountered on their adventures, they were able to make their way back to Bez Vito Kingdom just in time for the draft. In the end, the draft order was randomized. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> She's all, Somebody, I'm just kidding. Chad GBT gave up on their story completely. <laughs> just like... Never mind. So, um, and Dark Helmet was nowhere to be found. Queen Beverly and her co-host had successfully completed the game of Spaceballs Roulette and were ready to start the movie draft podcast. As they started their podcast, they all agreed it was an absurd and unforgettable experience that they would never forget. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> an unforgettable experience. I agree, Chad. And, and it did not even give us the fucking order. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna suggest say uh, but halfway through this I was gonna like how does it feel to be replaced by Chat GPT Brad but I, yeah, I, yeah. I take it back I, I I just hit refresh to see if it I'm, I'm just gonna go by the order it gives me on this refresh because that <laughs> it's got a whole new story going on about a powerful queen named Bev kind of the same thing here ships traveling through space strange anomaly 
Uh, we were reenacting the entire movie with Bev taking on the role of Dark Helmet. Zach is Lone Star. Brad is Barf. Scott is Princess Vespa. And <laughs> Dot Check, Matrix. Out. <laughs> and what? Uh, Nate, your Dot Matrix. And then, um, confused but determined, Bev announced the Pizza of the Hut would be the first pick, followed by Nate, Scott, Brad, and Zach. <laughs> Nate, Scott, Nate, Scott, Scott oh, Brad, Zach. Nate, Scott, Brad, and Zach. Nate, Scott, oh, my God. Brad, Zach. Oh, man. That one just how I'd expect. Man, what a what a letdown. Every time I've done like a, a, a practice, it gives me an order. That was the first time it's never actually given me an order. It just gave up. Well, I think we've learned a lesson. I think you're gonna have to start using your brain. Uh, but I got third pick. Oh, you got fucked again. <laughs> so what do we say Nate, Scott, Brad, Zach. All right, yeah. Nate. This is an interesting draft. There's a lot of strategy this is here. A really, I'm excited. This is a tough one. Today. Oh, God. I've got third pick. I hope I get my pick. Please. Okay. Okay. You will, Nate will announce uh, which category he's taking and who he is taking for that category. So this is the way it's going to go. So Good luck, Nate. I, I'm going to follow my heart here, which usually doesn't work out that well, as opposed to the strategy Never where I try to anticipate the judges, uh, judges picks, which also doesn't work out well. So which way do I go? I'm going to take... Oh, that's tight. Like, both of your strategies don't work out well. I like that. Yeah, they're, they're, it's, it, they're, they're tied for the shittiest strategy, and I haven't figured out <laughs> how to break that tie. I, I, I just looked at the bet metrics, and it says that you haven't won a draft yet this year. Oh, <laughs> Wow. Is that what, did you have to look at the Bev metrics? For I that? did. I looked at the Bev metrics. <laughs> I, 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 I don't need the Bev metrics to tell me that. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I might retire and become the permanent judge, just so I can <laughs> shit on you guys. All right, I'm taking best picture, and oh. I'm ta- and I'm taking Goodwill Hunting. That's the steal of the draft. I think you know what. The, the, to me, there's six best pictures here, maybe seven, and uh, there's two. I can't. I can make the argument for all of them, but this is the one I love the most. So I'm taking it, and I don't give a shit what all you think. I feel that that's that's pretty legit. It's pretty legit, and that's that's heart. I like it. How I think you, you went with the heart. How you like them apples, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. All right, Scott, you got that second pick. Second pick. I had a strategy planned out, and I'm going to stick with it. And I said, well, there's two options here that I knew that I would go with. But I have a feeling that this won't get to me. I don't think it's as of deep of a category. I'm going to start with Best Actress. I thought hard about that. And I'm going Alicia Vikander from Ex Machina. Ooh, not where I thought you were going to go, but okay. Okay. She's so hate, fucking good in that movie. I don't hate the pick. And I, of all the actresses I looked at, I liked her the best, and I wanted to make sure I got her. And, and there's, I love it. There's That's- other, there's other picks that of other categories that I think I can get later, and so that's why I just wanted to grab it there. It's a bold strategy, Con. Scott's Scott's throwing the draft from the first pick. I fucking <laughs> love it. Let's He's go. handicapping himself. He's like, I have won three in a row. Well, okay, Scott, I'll, I'll give you two things. One, you started a best actress run, which is great because mm-hmm. that's where I was going first. Okay. When you said you were going best actress, wow. I almost shit my pants, and I was like, no, please no. I know uh-huh. where you're going to go. Because I get to get the actual number one best actress. Okay, let's hear it. And it's just a sad that she even get a nomination for this. It's uh, actually sad because, you know, action movies just don't get the love that they deserved, especially in the early 90s. Linda Hamilton, Terminator 2 is the right call. What I'm, is I'm happening? I'm, right I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that that, that pick didn't come to me because I had her written down as Linda Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, that would have been good. That would have been, that would have been better than uh, Linda the replicants. Cameron, Linda Cameron was on my list, by the way. Uh, oh, that's great. interesting. Okay, that's this that's the one I wanted favorite. to get. I, you guys should have just said, Zach, do you want to win the draft? Because we're gonna pick dog shit with our first pick. <laughs> uh, actually, Nate's pick was good. I don't know what what draft you and Scott think we're doing right now, but uh, uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, show, okay, show us the way, buddy. So. I'm going to go best picture with the very first pick, with my first pick, and I am going to go Boogie Nights, one of the greatest movies of all time. I fucking love it. I think that there's no question. I think the only one that you could pick ahead of it would be Good Will Hunting, which is already off the board. And uh, God damn, that was, that was easy peasy. Now with my second pick, it gets a little bit more difficult, but just a little bit. 
And I think, hmm, I think with my second pick, I'm going to go Leonardo DiCaprio from The Departed for Best Actor. Okay. And I don't feel bad about it. Your silence speaks volumes. <laughs> I, 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 you're giving me shit about our picks, and I'll just say I, he was not on my best. Not, on, list. not even on my list. Uh, I, I have That's him on my crazy. list for sure, and I think it's a. I don't think it's he, a bad. He, pick he wasn't. Even, he wasn't even the best from that movie. <laughs> Dude, That's a, are that you kidding me? Tough one. That's crazy. <laughs> oh man, now, now I'm I'm a little bit conflicted here. But I'm going to go ahead and do it because, you know, you took Best Picture. You took Boogie Nights. I think I'm going to go ahead and just take somebody again, not nominated. It's just wild. How the fuck did he not get nominated? Best Actor. And I actually, and this, this says a lot because I do not like him as an actor. But in this movie, he was about as perfect as you can be. I'm taking Mark Wahlberg. God damn it. That's Boogie where I was going to go. I thought I thought I thought that was going to get to me. And I'm bummed. That makes for a tougher a tougher actor pick for me now. <laughs> Damn you, Mark Wahlberg. Damn it. Damn hey, you. Hey, he's not a great actor, but in this movie, he is golden. He is exactly what you needed in that role, and he does a terrific job. He's great. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Why are you doing my thing, Tom? Okay, so. This was my other first choice. If they, if they were available, I, t- I told myself going in that I would take them. I'm going to take the first director off the board. I'm going to take Scorsese. He won the damn Oscar for this movie. and So here, yeah. here, here's what's funny. I, I, re- I like The Departed. I'm a huge fan. I was mm-hmm. the one that picked it for the podcast. And I would say that I'm like a moderate Scorsese fan. Like I like some of his stuff. I think some of his stuff's dog shit. Uh-huh. Um, but what's funny is I think the general consensus was that this was like a sort of a makeup pick. Totally. And I guess I'm not, I'm, this is the hardest category for me director because Mm -hmm. I don't know what to attribute to the director. And this gets kind of right to the point is like, you know, this is, you know, when I see the Oscars, I'm like, I don't know who the best director was. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know enough about movies to even know, you know, like, and I guess you think of it like, you know, that's the, you know, everything that's good about the movie on some level, like the director has final say over, but so I don't, I don't know, you know, and I kind of like take the word of, of others who are, who are going to say that, that he, you know, that, that he's, he's great, but that this movie isn't his nearly his best. So I don't know. Good pick. Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, I think I got a snag. I got to go, I got to go actress, actor here. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Actor, actress. Cause I don't have, okay. Um, so I can't take there. I think. I'm going to go ahead and take Julianne Moore and continue the Boogie Nights That's love. That's a good pick. Um, That's yeah. a good pick. I like that. She's pretty phenomenal. I would say that, that to be honest, because we've apparently picked a lot of movies <clears throat> without a lot of focus on great act- actresses' roles, because we suck. This is good, but she's obviously not the star of the movie, which makes me like a little less excited about it. But in her role, she's incredible. Right. Um, I think her best role. In she, her career and yeah, she was nominated for supporting and and she is great in it. Yeah, and I mean, I I it's one of those questions like <laughs> is she in it enough to be a, a the best actress? But I that's uh, the one thing we haven't talked about that that just bothers me is the whole like what is a supporting actor versus a uh, a best actor? It's like there's certain movies where you hear like oh somebody got supporting actor and and I, I'm not going to say it, but it, it's just like it's frustrating when it's like. That person's in the movie like the entire time, and yet they're considered mm. a supporting actor. That's so stupid. I also, this is a good moment for me, since I'm going to go actress, actor, to bring up my favorite feminist take on films, which is at what point are they going to get rid of the actor and actress categories? Right. But at some point, they're going to, right? Everybody's best an acting. Actor. Well, it's, one of the, it's like when you think about it, you know, of all the things that they separate men and women for, this has to be, that are like, you know, awards and major significant separation, you know, like, like you know, like, you know, d- dividing them up like the dunk competition. Yeah, which c- clearly <laughs> should be uh, unisex. No, I mean seriously though. Like, what the fuck? Like, in what sense? In what universe is this a different job? Right. There's exactly. no way it's different. It's literally the fucking same thing. Right. So I'm. I'm. I, I increasingly am like, wait a minute. 
and, and this is, a, I mean, I, I sort of have this criticism like for all sides, which I'm like, you know, there's, this is a long lasting problem because of the very, con, you know, the historical conservative misogynism and it perpetuates in Hollywood, which thinks of themselves as the fucking yeah. locust liberals around. And right. I'm like, you motherfuckers. Like, yeah. Why, why should they be looked at uh, differently for doing the exact same job? Why, like, the Academy should be horrified that they call themselves like these progressives. And yet they've kept the actor actress category, just fucking moronic. Right. Yeah. Talk about going to 10. Go to 10. Call it actor. Call, go to 10 and be done with it. Right. They can eat a dick. Okay. <laughs> so, is that, was that, was that not? Okay. That's good. Anyway, uh, so I took Julianne Moore and I'm going to swing around and I'm going to take Brad Pitt in Fight Club. I don't, there's a, this is a tough one for me. That's not the one I love the absolute most, but I think it's the one that is the intersection of the one I love the most and the most well, the most notable role. So I'm, that's, I'm, I'm, right. I'm t- sticking with it. I think Brad Pitt's. Kind of what are, Brad, Brad Pitt in that one, but what do they do, Nate? Do they take do they take like they they combine the category, but then they have to pick one from each gender? No, so they pick two out of no the like whole the 10. F- no the fucking point is that they pick one who did the best acting, who yeah. was the best, actor? the best actor. I mean, I guess essentially initially it was because women weren't given as many roles, and so it was like yeah. So there's a representation issue, right? right where you're like, well, but I mean, you know, there's an argument that. You know, if, if that's still true, that women then have their, 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 you know, denominator is lower, right? Their odds of getting nominated are higher because they still, yeah. they're, they're competing against fewer roles. Either way, right? To me, this is just a, I don't give a shit what the argument is against. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I'm going to burn my bra and I'm going to fucking <clears throat> tell them about it. Hey, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll go to your rally. Scotch. Okay. Uh, so I, so I have. up those nipples. Scotch, you, you've got an actress so far and you've got a director. So Correct. You're so looking for an actor or a best, best picture? Best picture, yeah. This role to me, just he's one of my favorite people and actors, comedians, and this role to me just blew me away. I'm going with Robin Williams in Goodwill Hunting. It's a great pick. I mean, so this is one I was going to just mention. I'm glad you picked it because he got nominated for best supporting actor. That's and it's insane. like, why is it a supporting actor? This is not a supporting role. This is no pretty much like half the movie he's at least in. Yeah. If not two thirds, and he arguably the most important part of that movie. Yeah, I, I mean, other, other than Matt well, Damon, well, the main character, but still. I mean, I think the irony is right that a lot of people, if you ask them now, would you know just kind of without thinking say, well, that it was sort of two co-stars. It's it's Affleck and Damon, right? And that's just wrong. That's wrong. Right? <laughs> Affleck is the supporting. Absolutely, hundred percent. He's yeah. definitely. Yeah. Um, he's great, and obviously he co-wrote it. So no, that's no dig. It's just he's not he's not a co-main. Oh, and he won. I'm sorry, he did win for supporting. Yeah, identity. yeah. I, I remember. I knew he won. He, he was which, the winner. Th- I'm thankfully he won because just amazing job, super memorable, great lines, and just that performance was unreal. All but, right, so we, I, I'm glad I finally got a good pick. Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we appreciate you. Wait, joint. Welcome to the draft. <laughs> Thanks. It's my first it was, one. That was a good job, Scott. I'm proud of you. I don't need your support. <laughs> <laughs> I, like how, I like how Zach's in the bathroom the entire time. No, he's yeah. laying in his bed. He's going to be asleep. I know, he's, I know but he sounds like he's in the bathroom. I'm in, I'm in he's, my bed. He, he's in his bad bed, but he's shitting all over the cover, so I'm going to call it the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I get to do my uh, – oh, damn, this is where I'm kind of screwed here a little bit. You're so screwed. I'm a little bit screwed. So you have best picture left and best director? I sure do. Okay. And I feel like I've kind of dug myself into a hole, but, but that's all right. Okay, I know I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and go with my best picture. Not even nominated. And as far as groundbreaking and, and interesting and just something that was still talked about today, I'm going to go ahead and go with best picture. Uh, I'm taking Fight Club. I had a feeling that was going. And the fact that that wasn't nominated is moronic. Like, it, it, that, that is the example that we're, <clears throat> gets to the issue we were talking about earlier because, you know, I mean, we're talking about a movie that for whatever entertainment value it had is like really, truly unique and interesting in lots of ways that they must, you know, from technical aspects, writing aspects, like storytelling, narrative, narrative timelines, you know, the editing is great. The music is great. I mean, like, I don't know what they want. If they no no want nominations that. in the big four categories. Just horseshit. No nominations. Yeah. Pretty sad. These were the these were the the movies from 1999 where Shakespeare in Love, Elizabeth, Life is Beautiful, Saving Private Ryan, and The Thin Red Line. Yeah, 
Whatever. And Shakespeare in Love won. My, right. my you can yeah, call you can call tragedy. my team. You can call my team just, you know, writing wrongs because I've I've so far I've I, I did not not necessarily intentionally, but I'm writing a lot of wrongs right. here with I my like picks. It. I like your theme. Scotch. No. No. My, Zach. Zach on you the got your you got your your rap before the uh, before we get to Wildcard. You got your last two. Well, what do you got here. left? What what's your four? What do you He needs to go me? best actress and he needs to go best director. So that's where he is. So He's my easy in. pick here is know. Richard Linklater for Dazed and Confused uh, for Best Director. Yeah. I fucking love that movie. Linklater's amazing. And uh, that's where I'm going to go for that, for Dazed and Confused. Um, this is where I, as Brad would say, have dug myself a little bit of a hole and I am not sure I which way to he's go. Even, I can't believe you're even considering where to go here. It's, the crazy thing is, let's just, while he's thinking, just one second, I just wanted to say, we talked about Richard Linklater and Days and Confused. And when we did that movie and we talked about it, I had never seen Everybody Wants Some at that time, right? And when Brad said... You loved it. So I, Brad said he thinks it's it's... He likes it more than Days and Confused. You didn't say it was a better movie, but you appreciate it more. I enjoy it more than Days and Confused. And I thought you were the most insane person I've ever talked to. <laughs> I've watched that movie... 20 times now oh dude it's, it's, it's my comfort movie now it, it, it and is, i don't know it, why it's a can of pringles man like it's, it's crazy it's, it's enjoyable it's so it's just a fun little digestible ride. and 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 what it is it's just it's because it's like it reminds me you of hanging out with your buddies and yep. playing stupid games and fucking throwing the ball around and playing drinking shit and like it just bvk podcast it is absolutely so if you have not seen everybody wants some which i don't think very many people have um, it's it's fantastic. We're sponsored by Last Call Brewing and uh, Everybody Wants Some by Richard Linklater. Exactly. <laughs> Those are our two uh, sponsors. They give oh, enough and time I'm sorry, and I'm sorry, and we are sponsored by Heritage, Heritage Realty, Realty Partners. Heritage Realty Partners. There you oh, go. Boy Hank, King of the Hoisters. All right, Zach. I have my pick. Are you guys ready? We are ready. I really don't think there's anywhere else to go unless I'm going to go Elizabeth Wilde's armpits in Drinking Buddies, <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to go there. <laughs> I think I am going to go with the second best armpits in the draft, and I'm going to go with Cameron Diaz in Something About Mary. I think that uh, she's amazing. She's bubbly. She's the perfect manic pixie dream girl, and I think I got to go there. So how did you not pick Tony Collette? How? Because it's not on the list. that's not on our not list. On the list. That's no, that was list. last year. That I, I that, drafted her that, in the that, last that, movies. That answers the question. <laughs> that's how. Glad I didn't. <laughs> glad I didn't pick her. She was on my list. Uh, she she would have been a great pick last year. I was like, I did. I did. Zach's gonna steal this. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you should listen to our episode hey, sometime. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to discount. I don't want to discount Tony Collette's armpits. I I definitely would have gone with that if I. Good. Can I just point out that you clearly missed an opportunity to have that as your wild cord cat card category? Best uh, best armpits. Oh, best armpits. Shit. I mean, hey, he, he's, he's still, still can. He's he's still still can. Alert. All right. <laughs> I need to finish this off with the best uh, director. director. And man, gosh, there's there's a couple here. I, there's that things I'm, I yeah. can't do, which sucks because of the qualifications of you this. can't you can't take Fincher because of Fight Club. But what I can do is jump into the one movie I have not touched yet, which it's a beautifully made movie. Its pacing's great. Um, it's got some great acting in it. And I can take Gus Van Zandt oh. as my best director. What did he Good Will Hunting. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. That's a good pickup. I've been drinking. We've stayed really tightly in a, in a, in a set, set of movies, right? There's very few yeah. deviations. Yeah. Which kind of makes us really boring, actually. We suck a lot at this. Well, I, I think the, the it's the fact that we've taken, I mean, if you look at some of the movies, they're just not going to qualify for these categories. But at the same time, we are also giving some awards to people who deserve it. And I think they're going right. to be happy to know that they got a, BB, a, a bevy from us because it's going to mean a lot to them. We're still waiting on right. their, their like audio acceptance speech. Right. Yeah, well, that's true. So, so like, true. like my next pick, you know, I mean, you know, the Oscars, you know, historically, you don't get a lot of comedies that are that are just great and amazing, you know nominated because they're not worthy of an Oscar because it's a comedy or whatever. And I'm just going to go back to one of my most favorite film watching experiences in my life. And we're going to keep it the theme of us picking the same kind of movies. I'm, I'm picking something about Mary is my, my favorite movie. Oh, I thought you were going to go Reiner. This is Spinal Tap. <laughs> I was, I thought about it, but, uh, 
No. Okay. Well, I'm finally going to get away from, <clears throat> I'm finally going to make a pick here that is a movie that we have not touched. Not a single time unless I missed three or four picks, which is likely. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, so I said earlier that I don't know, I have to pick a director and I, I have a hard time figuring out how to, uh, you know, ascribe credit um, to a particular parts of a film. This one, because of the pacing and the editing and some of the film, like like the cinematography, which is which are a lot of the things. Especially, I don't think he wrote this, but he may have. Um, especially, you know, it's like those are the things that I think of as being the most in control. Right? He he doesn't exactly control the acting. Often doesn't you know if he's not writing it doesn't control the script entirely. And so this one is just a truly beautiful movie that where the music matches the tone and feel of the movie, the cinematography picks up some like shots that feel fitting for the movie, but at the same time are just beautiful. And that's David McKenzie for Hell or High Water. I knew it. A lot of dust. A lot of dust in that movie. A lot of the dust. The filter he uses for the dust is just phenomenal. <laughs> um, the, the dust filter. The dust filter. I really thought you were going to go spotlight. Um, yeah, well, I, I thought about it, and I love spotlight. I think it's a great movie. I think I discounted it slightly because it's such a great true story, and for some reason that made it feel like. Yeah, I, I thought you were going to go with uh, Children of Men for some reason. That's, yeah, 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 that's I, not I, a bad, never, that's not a bad bad one either. I, I love. I don't. I've never just loved that movie. The other one I seriously thought about, which would have stayed right in the mix here. Although I don't know if we, did we take anything was Cameron Crowe for Jerry Maguire? Nobody took no, Cameron. No, and and the fact that nobody took PTA for best director it makes me yeah. so sick to my stomach because so I, I was arguing do I go best director of PTA or do I go best actor and I went with best actor Mark Wahlberg and it was so sad that I can't because PTA did not get nominated for directing for Bo- Boogie Nights which is just fucking that's great. wild and he didn't get nominated here at the Bevies either and no. and the fact that none of you fuckers picked him up makes well, me I, so well, but I got so I already you, picked Chris yeah, so you get yourself like you get yourself into a into a hole though because. <sighs> Oh, I, Julianne yeah. Moore, right? I, I, yeah. I didn't know where else to go with the actress. I know. You can't so. take PT now. Yeah, yeah, this this so, fucking rule. Yeah. It, it definitely it ruins got, me. That rule got into my Scott, brain Scott, early. Scott's rule, like, really, this is a crappy <laughs> rule that Scott made Yeah, the, the Scott's rule, man. Him. This The fucking <laughs> Scott's rule. All right, well, Nate, because it's, of first... It's a good rule, though. Yeah, it is. I do. It I is. Like it diversifies things and, and makes us pick some other I'm stuff. glad I came up with it. Yeah, because otherwise I'm I'm jumping on PTA for sure. We would have from the same four movies if we would <laughs> right. no, we, we, we literally did that anyway we just scrambled them all right well we do have a chance yeah. now to to really get a little bit out there with our our wild card random category picks where we go ahead and give you a category and also tell you who our winner is okay. so that's what's going down and nate is up first so, here so I, i'm glad i'm the first pick because scott said i mean because zach said something earlier that made me wonder if we have the same wild card category Uh oh. Um, <laughs> but i find it ironic because he said early on that if he had to rank the movies from worst to best top gun which i chose was at the bottom <laughs> and it turns out that my category was the idiot movie pick in honor of our judge <laughs> and the idiot movie pick goes to Rules of Attraction by Zach. <laughs> what? <laughs> How could you pick that for the idiot movie pick? Because that movie is fucking crazy and weird. Oh, High Tension I thought was pretty good. I, yeah. Dude. I thought High Tension was quality compared to I, – I actually did, I didn't think High Tension was, was even that. I didn't even really think hard about that one as the worst. Dude, and the crazy thing is I have a little bit of insight because I know my brother and we've talked. And he fucking hated that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so good. he's gonna. You guys are tripping. Dude. He's gonna love that fucking category. <laughs> oh man, it's not even. It's not even in the bottom ten. You guys are <laughs> from a guy that doesn't like. So I, I'm. I'm, I'm I gonna like label that. everything best. So it's best idiot movie pick. Rules of attraction. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, Scotch. Okay. There's a couple here that I thought about actually stealing from potentially from brad but i'm gonna go with with this one and what it is it's a little bit long and i i actually have a couple of runners up if you don't mind that you don't have to list but just for we'll talk about also runs we'll get to also well no i mean i'm talking runners up for who would have won this this category no okay you know what i mean i'm only gonna put down the one that's what i'm saying You're you're gonna put down the winner all right so anyway best leadership by example in a film and so, like, a runner's-up would be Tyler Durden in Fight Club. 
the other runner, yeah. another runners up would be all the cocksucking Catholic priests who covered for all the other cocksucking Catholic priests in spotlight. Jesus Christ. I love it. And the winner is Billy Madison getting a bunch of kids to pee their pants when he only used water. <laughs> because all those kids pissed their pants after he said it was cool. You got that, Brad? <laughs> I did. I've got best leadership by example in film, Billy Madison getting kids to pee their pants. When he only used water. Oh, I'll add that. Yeah, add that in. All right, that is added. Oh, I'm so glad that I got mine because it's so simple. And I, I actually not I have four here that I, I created. Uh-huh. The final one, I was like, oh, it's like one of those things where it's like, oh, of course that's the one I'm going to use because it's uh-huh. the, the absolute correct pick out of all these movies we've watched. And it's and then you guys are going to 100% agree. My winner for best side boob in film, <laughs> Kelly Preston for Jerry Maguire. <laughs> oh, dude, great call. That's almost best armpit. Can I point out that the reason armpits are great is because of side boob? But not only that. I don't know. I think Elizabeth Wilde's side boob is is, is, <laughs> is pretty 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 up there. But I, I think you I think you got the right pick, Brad. You did good. Yeah, Kelly Preston has legendary side boob. Front, She's got legendary it, front, 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 front boob, boob too. <laughs> uh, any, anybody who's a fan of Kelly Preston, uh, go back and find a movie called Mischief. You're welcome. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No. R.I.P. Absolutely. All right, Zach. Finish this draft off, man. All right. So I'm going to go with the little known category that's called the best monologue by a character that thinks they're in a different movie than they're actually in. <laughs> and that is going to be Phoebe Cates in Gremlins with the <laughs> monologue about her dad dying in the chimney at Christmas time. Just the most <sighs> insane, long winded, <laughs> yep. just absolutely ridiculous monologue. And she thinks she's in like a serious drama and she forgets that she's in a movie called Gremlins with yep. fucking a bunch of puppets. Yeah. And uh, I fucking love it. Yeah. I dude, I was thinking I, I was looking down the list. I saw Gremlins. I was like, man, I'd love to get Phoebe Cates involved somehow. And I didn't think of that. And I'm very proud of you. That's a great category. That's true. It was either going to be that or I was going to go best actress, uh, Phoebe Cates and Gremlins. So either <laughs> one, I'll, I'll take it. I'm going to say best monologue by a character that thinks they're in a different film. Phoebe Cates, dad, fireplace story, gremlins, chimney story. All right, folks. Well, that is a draft. And again, we, uh, we, like I said, we, we definitely got some things going here that giving some credit to folks that deserved credit, um, creating some categories that, uh, are a little bit fun and a little bit silly. But now we're going to go ahead and turn this over to our draft judge. Uh, Tim was a part of this uh, uh, judging the last bevies. Correct. Yeah. My, my brother and I um, judged the first annual bevy awards. And uh, so, yeah, we thought we'd have him back. And, and those of you guys who don't know, we'll talk about it when it comes on. But he definitely um, has opinions and definitely likes to call us names. And uh, he, he judges every single <laughs> every single draft that we do. He has a pad, paper, and just he takes it very uh, seriously. I, I say it like I mean I've said it many times, and it's, I think you think it's a joke, but I literally like look forward to getting the getting the the screenshot of a fucking like lined ring binder, you know, lined yeah. you know like rip out paper that so, has just scribbles everywhere. Rule. Idiot. <laughs> oh, blew it. Almost had it. Yeah. Did it again. I mean, just and like. The, the funny thing is, is like when he made, he first started sending it to me, I was like, I'm not going to send it to these guys. I mean, fuck, dude, take it easy. And I, I said, screw it. I shared it. And you guys loved it. I was like, wow, you guys are masa- <laughs> masochistic <laughs> motherfuckers, man. <laughs> Do it again, Tim. <laughs> Say it more. <laughs> All right. I love it. Well, we will be back just shortly with some draft judging. Draft judge. Hi. I'm Don Brody, a comedian with a history degree and the host of the podcast, Hilf, History I'd Like to Fuck. Each episode, I am joined by a new guest who has brought me a subject from history that they want to know more about. Then I hit the books, I dig deep in the annals, and stimulate. (laughs) We've covered Frankenstein, Houdini, Joan of Arc, Pompeii, the Salem Witch Trials, right? Join us and find out for yourself that history is a party. And everybody's coming. (laughs) 
metrics, YouTube assist. Gonna point out all the shit that we missed. It's the draft judge crushing dreams once again. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's so sweet. I mean, so if, nice. if there was ever a person that that song was written for, it, it's this guy that's about to come in here and just tell us we're just dumb and stupid and idiots. Yeah, he came, in, he, he came in hot, just kind of like immediately... Like, first, just, first word out of his mouth, you guys are idiots. Moron. Go ahead, Zach. When I sang that last line, that super heartfelt last line, I was picturing Tim back in my head. <laughs> just sang it. scribbling on some <laughs> line paper. Uh, crushing our dreams. <laughs> Here's my, cra- my question. Do you carry that line paper around everywhere like some sort of like fucking... You know, uh, uh, savant that just is, you know, scribbling weird ideas in the book all the time. This is my uh, Wordle and BVK book. <laughs> uh, see, love it. He, he takes Wordle notes. That, that means he's, he's look at that Wordle. Shit. Jesus. <laughs> oh, dude, he, he's Wordle. fucking Rain Man. I, no I was just saying, it looks like Goodwill Hunting on a fucking mirror. <laughs> there's, there's secret codes in there. If, if you connect the words, it says idiot like over and over and over. It's kind of wild. The, the best part yeah. is, uh, so. I sent him the results on on the phone, and I'm glad I went and checked because I go, hey, did you get it? And he's like, my phone's dead. And so I, I go, well, shit, my phone's like on 4%. And so I pulled it up real quick, and I read it to him live, and he was writing them down. And I got to see, and I don't know who it was. I honestly don't know who it was. He wrote idiot as as, <laughs> as I was... <laughs> As I was reading them out, so somebody got an idiot as I was standing an there. Instant idiot. Instant idiot. Instant yeah. idiot. Inst- <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I do have to real quick bring up. We we ver- we briefly touched on this uh, last episode, but but Tim, uh, we just got your recent results on our our most recent draft, and uh, I was the I think first ever recipient of the quadruple the idiot. Quadruple idiot. Yeah. Quad idiot. Yeah. Good quad job. Quad idiot. And, it, it was and, that, it was the fight. It was the fight team draft oh the fight team yeah. draft yeah he did not like any of my picks and and he pointed out something i because scotch beck sends this to us and i immediately like defend was yourself. like wait a second one of these idiots is not deserving he says that i said the uh arnold schwarzenegger in the movie platoon and he's and then scotch is like no you actually did say platoon <laughs> and i was like wait wait what <laughs> i edit this fucking podcast i actually like talk on this podcast and somehow i did not realize between both of those and oh and not only do i i, I talk i edit and then i give one more listen just to like check for anything <laughs> Never I did not it. realize that I said yeah, you, platoon. You misspoke. You did say predator. I immediately after start that. talking about him yeah. fighting predators. So yeah. I mean, hundred percent on my on my sheet. I looked back. I was like, oh, it was, of course but I said it, predator. But it still earned you the quad idiot. Yeah, that I actually went idiocy. back like three times to make sure I heard it right before I gave you the actual. <laughs> the quad. I, I did write yeah. idiot right off the bat. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that. Well, you. I mean, you don't want to give out an award like that without yeah. f- super verified. Well, yeah, I had to be, verify it. So, to be to be the first ever quad idiot. That's. I mean, you got to make sure that all of I mean, those idiots. I figured are deserved. Zach was going to get that first, but <sighs> so <laughs> Zachy, can I grab a tiny tangent Nate. here? Yeah, Zach. I just want to say that Nate said that Scott or that Tim was like a savant with his uh, with his red notebook walking around, and he's more like air quotations an idiot savant, right? <laughs> idiot savant. Idiot savant. savant. He is. He uh, is a, <laughs> he's a master of the idiots. Throwing yes. throwing those fucking idiots at everybody Ooh. that'll listen. I yeah. love it. Well done. Handing out eyes. So so are you cool with me uh, sharing your your hand your Instagram handle the name on you have on your Instagram? Uh, that's fine. His ins- his Instagram is Squab Nuts. Oh yeah. yeah, and 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 it took me a while to figure out that that's because you raise both squab, which mm-hmm. is which is uh, pigeons. pigeons, pigeon before it flies, right, and almonds, almonds for those of you under the walnuts, walnuts, which are nuts. Mm-hmm. But when I read it, it took me. I didn't like pick this up immediately. I don't know why. And all I could think was like, this is like an insult that somebody would throw around on like a football field in 1989. Fucking squab nuts. <laughs> hey, squab nuts. Get over here and get the fucking water jug. Now, squab nuts. So, so you, yeah. he, you picked that as, <laughs> as, as your company Fuck name. Fuck you, pie. So, so pie? It's, yes. Fucking pie. Hey, squab nuts. <laughs> Fuck you, pie. Watch you and pie fucking get over pie. here and fucking. <laughs> Dude, squab nuts and pie. That's, that's a fucking new buddy cop movie. <laughs> 
<laughs> but so uh, that brings up a good point, though. Squab Nuts, that's that's your company also because yeah. you have the pigeons and, and the nuts. Squab and Nuts, Inc. Do you ever regret that when you're like somebody asks, like somebody official asks for like an email address and then they, they're like, shit, I, why did I pick this? Not really. Okay. I kind of like it. Good. You're kind of like, yeah. I'm, I, yeah, you're right. I am calling you Squab Nuts. Squab Nuts. <laughs> I, I told a story on the, the Hoisting Heavies podcast, and look at me now segueing back to their pod. Um, <laughs> the, uh, w- my brother and I named our cats when we, when we lived at home when we were teens, uh, Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. And after we moved out and the Beavis and Bud were still living at the house, like anytime people would come over and see like these, these they're beautiful cats. And they'd be like, "What's their names?" And she would just make up something. She would not say. My mom, mom would not say. To say Beavis she would not and say that their names are Beavis and Butt. <laughs> she just make it up. She regretted That's it. That's fluffy and scrumptious. <laughs> yeah. what's well, the, what's we had a, a cat that was named Art when he went to the vet, but his real name was Fart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because that cat, I, because when we first got him, like, because he was a feral cat that showed up and we just kind of, we tamed him. And I don't know if it was, he wasn't, his diet wasn't used to food or whatever, like the cat food, but we would pick him up and he would just rip ass. Oh, and and so, 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 and we were young kids. And so like, oh, his name's Fart. Yeah. So, but then my mom would refuse <laughs> to say <laughs> his name was Fart. <laughs> God, we're so embarrassing uh, to our, our mothers. <laughs> Except for Zach's mom, who roots his 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 drafting abilities on. And Zach, you weren't on the last draft, bud, but you still have two wins out of your three drafts so far. So your your Bever metrics are looking amazing at this point. Are you are you happy about your uh, your draft tonight? Do you think you uh, you're gonna you're gonna stick to that that winning ways? I don't think there's even a question about the fact that I won this draft <laughs> going away and. Uh, I'm I'm excited to uh, to listen to Tim Beck's uh, analysis and yeah, call all the idiots and call me the champion. Who's the least idiotic of the idiots? Is yeah. The question. All right. So uh, what do we what do we what are we looking for here? We standard. St- so were all the rules conveyed? Yeah. You know, we 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 did mention that you, you understood that we each had to pick from each category. Right? Yeah. And then we couldn't pick from the same movie. We right. mentioned that. And then so you have kind of a a standardized scoring system that you use with everything. And it's, and it's a golf system, right? right? Yeah, low score is good. Right. So, which is a little, because we always ask for scores. And so keep that in mind when he re- reads the scores off. So how do you get a low score? Like, do you keep it within the things picked? You then, like, order them? Or is it like you... His number one pick versus number two versus number three? Yeah, I kind of I kind of made a, my list of what I would pick. And then... Uh, I kind of had tiers, so like a group of the best three would get a one, hole okay. in one. You nailed it. Got it. If you got it, if you picked in the first round, a second tier, well then that's a two. Or and okay. if it got was it. a really bad pick, then it could be a three or four or yeah. five. And then how many sevens do you give out? Mostly sevens? <laughs> mostly eights. Yeah. Any snowmen? Mostly triples. No, no, no Triple snowmen. Yeah. I, I, kept, I kept it up in the three okay. or four range. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then then you also do a round thing. Yeah, and yeah. so then each – well, usually I do a round, but I, I actually – this time I – I went by category, so okay. So the best actress picture uh, picks the best actor picks. So, yeah, so that's okay. smart. Yep. If you picked, you know, yeah, whatever. If it was actor, the you best, can... the actor that I liked the best got a one. Okay. The second one got two, three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's so now, makes sense for this. My ma- my main question right off the bat is, how many times did you write the word idiot? That is the key question. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna, gonna an we're gonna need a minute. We're gonna have to kill a little time here because yeah, there was there was three, three, three. Okay, three. okay. okay. so we'll we'll call oh, those out later. It. Well, nobody's getting the, the quad quad idiot. No quad idiots. Brad's <laughs> yeah. still at the top Brad's of the pedestal, the reigning king of that. Yeah, the, it might be a long time. You got the bevy for the quad. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so I guess we'll ask for the scores, um, and so then this is gonna be weird because. Yeah, high low score. score. So yeah, the high high score, which is bad, bad. in golf, 
Uh-huh. Was a twenty-seven. Twenty-seven was the high score. Holy shit! That's a lot of. That's a lot, that, that's just, a lot of swings in the that's sand a, trap. By the way, I joked, but that's an average of almost seven. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Wow. Wait, sorry. There's five categories. Five categories. It's average of almost six. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oof, damn. Yeah, that's fucking terrible. It's, it's a serious. Sorry, handicap. Brad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, twenty-seven then. So then uh, twenty-one. Okay. Okay. Twenty-one. Nineteen. Uh-huh. Oh, tight in the middle. And an obvious winner, 13. Oh, Ooh, shit. shit. Obvious so winner, obvious winner, 13. obvious loser, and then the yeah. middle is tight. Not quite the landslide that I got last draft, but uh, yeah, uh, we'll see. Whatever, okay, man. Moving on. Sorry for the spoiler on that. To me. Zach's hey. like, I wasn't there. I, I wasn't that there, that one, asshole. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. You did just spoil it for your brother. <laughs> Oops. Good job, little brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're ready for. Uh, we'll, we'll say team four, and I'll, I'll go through their team four. We'll say the fourth place team. Hopefully, it's team four. Yeah, Sorry, it Zach. Sorry, Zach. <laughs> and then, uh, then we will go ahead and, and find out results. So, uh, what was the fourth place team with twenty-seven points? Team four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Team four included best picture, Boogie Nights, best actor, Leo DiCaprio, The Departed, best director, Richard, Richard Linklater, Dazed and Confused, best actress, Cameron Diaz, There's Something About Mary, and best monologue by a character that thinks they're in a different film, Phoebe Cates, Dead Dad, Chimney Story from Grimble. Okay, how many idiots did he get? Did Tim, did Tim understand the categories? I don't, I don't quite think that he quite understood what we're doing here. <laughs> Good to have you back, Zach. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So having you take well, a week off, man. I actually gave him two idiots on that. Oh, one. he got two of the three idiots? Yeah. What an idiot. <laughs> I was feeling super confident. Oh, <laughs> man. So, so, so where did the idiots go? Which, which picks? Dazed and Confused? It's, I love the movie, but. So you didn't like the, the director on that one? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Link, Link later. It, be- okay. Besides the fact that it's masterful, yeah, I hate that. I hate it's a great that movie. Make some of the, one of the best movies of all time. Hey, I, I, I could show up at an orchard party and you know roll the camera for a while, and yeah, I'd probably get some decent shots too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you just don't talk shit about Phoebe Cates. Oh, <laughs> big oh. mistake! <laughs> so, hey, dude, I knew I should have. That, that's, I that's, even that's, said, Tim. I said I'm gonna. I was gonna pick Phoebe Cates for Best Actress, but I fucking went away from it, and that was a mistake. It sounds like. God just, damn it! Just a huge oh. unforced error by Zach right there. Uh, I was so in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, at, so in third in third place at twenty one. All right, twenty one. Team three. Team three includes Best Actress, Linda Hamilton from T2, Best Actor, Mark Wahlberg, Boogie Nights, Best Picture, Fight Club, Best Director, Gus Van Zandt, Goodwill Hunting, and Best Side Boob in Film, Kelly Preston from Jerry Maguire. Mm-hmm. Tim, where did I go wrong? What's going on here? <laughs> that was Brad. Where did I go wrong? Uh, Linda Hamilton. Yeah. That, 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 that's, I that's thought that the, was insane when you said that. You like, in the first, first round? Like, that's yeah. you, that's that a another crazy idiot. Pick. She's amazing in that film. Is she? I just don't think it's first round pick. Yeah. I don't think, I don't, it's not, even separate from if she's a correct one of one of the four that should have been picked it's clearly not the one that like everyone was going to race when i looked at my my actress list i was like which of these put on the best performance where you're like oh my god this is like insane Tony, and it was Linda Hamilton. Tony Collette was better. Tony Collette was definitely better. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Renee Zilligan. And that, but that's just like typical acting. Linda Hamilton had to like do some crazy shit. Like when she's about to fucking blow that dude's head off in front of a kid and like and, and she just CGI like starts crying. In. I just couldn't well, believe you didn't go Regina King. Oh. <laughs> yeah, how did you not go Regina King? You're a fan. I learned from my quad idiot, obviously. <laughs> quad idiot. That scarred me for life. Uh, uh, okay. Regina wow. King and I are, are are not on talking terms. Okay, so so we had, th- that was the first pick, and then we had Mark Wahlberg from Boogie Nights. Yeah, I mean, he was good, but it's not what I would have picked. How, okay. how many how many points did I get for best side boob in, in, in film, Kelly that, that was my second favorite. Oh, oh, second okay. favorite. Okay, and, he, was and, two. and you're right because you said I think Tim likes some good side boob. Because oh. <laughs> so, Kelly Preston is my yeah. other. Okay, uh-huh. there we go. Tim, Tim definitely knows. I mentioned the movie earlier, Mischief, and, and oh. He, oh, he's got that on it. He's got he, he's, he runs that on repeat on his phone while he's on a tractor. Uh, how are you? How are you about Fight Club? Nah, yeah. It, I like it, but yeah, I don't know. It's 
that's kind of where I was when we did the pod. <laughs> yeah, okay. not my not my thing. All there's, right, there's well, better movies, I, I think. All right, I I, I feel good about yeah, my draft. I haven't missed yet too. That's great. Right. That's right. I'm glad you feel good about it, Brad. So we we've got what, what what is the point differential for first and second? We've got what what is it? So nineteen thirteen. Nineteen. Okay, so somebody definitely won. So okay. I, I I beat. I lost to somebody by two points in second place. Right. Who was the second place team? That would be Team One. Fuck. <laughs> Team Are one. you kidding me? Oh my Scott, lord! Scott, what a fucking this is a uh, this is a travesty. This is some, <sighs> this is some home some job. Goddamn, the fix is in. <laughs> I didn't want little fix. brother to win. It, it just makes me so mad. But All right. Uh, deep you, down, I knew it you was you. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> you pie. Uh, team, nice team work, one. squab nuts. Yeah. Okay. Team one was best <laughs> pi- squab. Team one best picture: Goodwill Hunting. Best actress: Julianne Moore for Boogie Nights. Best actor: Brad Pitt for Fight Club. Best director: David McKenzie. Hello, hello, or High Water. Best idiot movie pick: Pan- Pander. Rules of Attraction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just came down to better picks. Okay. Yeah. Nothing, nothing bad about. How'd you the like team. the uh, wild card? That was, eh, it was okay. Oh, what oh, the? Oh, that's what you get for win. pandering. I that's got what you get hurt for by pandering. the pander. We, we, did, we, did Billy Madison get the the best wild card? Oh God, yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> my lord. That's that's the. I swear to God, that's the only thing that I thought. <laughs> I think my brother's really gonna like that. And, and it just so really you pander you pandered way a, more a than secret us. pander. You should be fucking arrested for insider trading right there. No, just absolutely. <laughs> my bullshit. brother, my brother and I did not discuss this ahead of time. Mm-hmm. And so, like I said, so his phone was dead when we tried to send him the results, and I read them live to him. Convenient. And I know there, there, there is a room. There dead. is a room over here off of the the uh, the BBK Outdoor Studio that Dude. these gentlemen went into and conferred because visuals weren't working allegedly. Collusion. And so Scotch goes but in to talk to his brother about allegedly. the allegedly. I'm I'm being transparent here. <laughs> now when when I read Trans- them off, when I read them off, I chuckled a couple times, but not at mine. I chuckled at some of the other ones, trying you know basically. Yeah, I read them. As a signal like to stupid. be like, this is a silly <laughs> pick. Yeah, exactly. Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> stupid one. Here, but here it is. All right. Interesting. So, so, t- so tell us what you like. What'd you like about team number shit? I mean, team number two. Team two. Well, team team, let, me, let, me, let me read team two. We've got best actress, uh, 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 Alicia Vikander. That was a home run. Ex Machina. Mach- Ex Machina. Ex Machina. Um, best director, Martin Scorsese, The Departed. Best That's actor, best Robin pick. Williams, Goodwill Hunting. Good pick. Best picture, There's Something About Mary. Yeah. Best leadership by example in film, Billy Madison getting kids to pee their pants <laughs> when he only used water. <laughs> that was just clever. I mean, come on. Funny. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but he literally, you every, got in a great movie that's yeah not you know nobody's nobody's gonna not Billy Oscar Madison's worthy. not gonna win an Oscar right that's uh, that, I think that's the the key to the wild card is bringing in movies that didn't get the love uh, yeah. Zach did bring in Gremlins which I appreciated Nate yeah. brought in Rules of Attraction I'm the only one who kind of went chalk for uh, bringing in Jerry Maguire which is something that had already been drafted ah yeah. uh, wow yeah yeah oh no Jerry Maguire had not been drafted the on, the only bad pick that. Something about Mary. Scotty, yeah, something about Mary. You should have picked Jerry Maguire. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I I just went with a, with a personal pick on that one. I, I like I said, I had a that was one of the most fun times I've had in a in a theater ever. And so, uh, but yeah, and uh, comedies don't get a, get a lot of love at the, at the Oscars. So, but so uh, yeah. Elisa Bacander, we're we're saying this is the best act. Yeah, best so that's actress? the one I'm most curious because I was kind of like, man, it's good, but I don't. I just well, comparable. Compared to the other picks, it was it was good. I will say it was a little bit of a thin category. Yeah, because yeah, because our movies are well. We'll get, which, we'll get which, to also Rands. We've is, got some things to talk, and that's about. why that's why I wanted to grab it early because I just didn't think there was any others that were. I, I had eight on my list for for yeah. best actress. So yeah, I had I think I had six, but uh, yeah. Well, shit, Scotch. That's two in a row. Two in a row, baby. Zach, thanks for spoiling baby. it. Two in a row, baby. <laughs> you guys both have two wins now, and uh, I have one. And uh, you know, Nate is is searching. 
He came I close. Should've won he came close. I should have won if there wasn't brother collusion. I'm just gonna yeah. I'm just gonna throw that stake down right now. You can file it in in, in you know will there be draft, investigation uh, investigation season, season under protest. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and this is and this is early in the season, so this these protests usually last a pretty long time. Uh, yeah. So yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> Colluding brothers. I know it's it's terrible. It's wild. But let's go ahead and talk about some of the uh, the picks that we did not make. How the fuck could we miss that one? I just don't understand. Uh, I want to know. I want to know who Tim Beck would think would be the the number one pick out of all the categories. If you were drafting, who would be the number one pick? If you could pick any category, any movie, any actor, actress, whatever it is. Oh, good question. So, what yeah. what would have been if your I, number one? one if I was one. first, and the, what would I say first? Yeah, what would you pick? Absolutely first, like your first your thing. first pick. Not so easy, is it? No, that's t- <laughs> <laughs> mm, idiot. Yeah, hurry up, idiot. Yeah. I'd probably go <laughs> Renee Zilwiger. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, my try God. To go, you know, get the, what movie the is she in? Jerry, Jerry Maguire. Maguire. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but I, and I, I didn't. I, she was in Hereditary. I, I honestly didn't know. <laughs> is she eligible this season? I, I wish I knew that Tim was such a fan of Jerry Maguire. I would. Oh, I love. I would have grabbed. Oh, I know that's that is what I, 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 I will say. I, I did not either. put Zellweger on my best actress list. I, I just th- I thought about it, but uh, I, I actually had Regina King listed on my list because I thought she was really great in that movie. She was good. Yeah. So so I, the one that I had that was not a not drafted in the feet in the actress category was Helena. Uh, Bob Carter. Carter, Fight Club, yeah, Fight Club. but she's kind yeah, of the same sure. person all the time. Though. Yeah, no, Except, that uh, that role, amazing. that role is is terrific. I don't know, yeah. I I do like it. And then uh, I had Minnie Driver from Good Will Hunting. I, yeah, I, me too. I actually had Minnie Driver from Gross Point Blank because, oh, because she's she because she's actually using an accent and wasn't doing her natural accent, and and she's total Manny Pixie dream girl in that. You know, to me, so I, that's that's what I I liked her over that one. Zach, you got any best the actresses? Fact I, the fact that I got uh, Cameron Diaz in the last round and got last place is just absolutely <laughs> insane. That that, that was my first thought. Actually, she's the first one on my list. But then when I thought about it, I was like, I think Linda Hamilton's the best. I had Cameron Diaz ranked really high, Zach, as well. I had her second after Alicia Vikander. No, nobody mentioned uh, Cecile de uh, de France. I thought Zach might pull her. Uh, high tension. I, I just, I just didn't want to lose, but fuck, I guess I should have just gone with my heart. <laughs> She's on my list. I put her on my list because I was like, that performance was still pretty fucking impressive, even though it was a, a, a crazy was weird amazing. movie. Yeah, for, it, it let's stick. Amazing. Let's stick with some actresses. Here's here's a sneaky one that I, I thought of that I love and I think she was great. Parker Posey in Days and Confused. Oh, mm-hmm. that's not a bad one. It's tough because she's not in it enough. Like, I know. It's just but yeah. the little limited amounts that she's in it is great. But but she's one of the things I remember about that movie. She's yeah. such an asshole. And uh, I, I don't know. Just remember that our, our judge thought that was a dog shit movie. So I guess that's, that's a that, good point. That's <laughs> so, uh, so here's a movie. A movie no, I love the movie. It's just that was just a shame. oh geez, just the directing was bad. Oh, okay, I get so, that. So, I get it. The directing was terrible, but it's a great movie. I hate you so much. Ben. Well, he was directing that kid to touch his face all the time, <laughs> <laughs> grabbing his nose. You can't argue every with that. second. He allowed that. He allowed that haircut to stand in the movies. Yeah. Uh, touche. I thought, touche. I thought about saying Wiley Wiggins is my best actor, just as a joke. Yeah. Oh, so I think we should probably go a little bit more ballsy and, and silly. With with this next time. Next time. So, so so here's one that that could have in the in the this is a movie that wasn't drafted at all shockingly. Rachel McAdams yeah. in Spotlight. <sighs> yeah, I thought How, are you her. a fan of that movie? Too? She she was like my second. Oh, thing, so that would have been oh, damn. I almost uh, yeah. No, she was my third. Okay, yeah. well shit, there After there it was. Alicia. Yeah. She's well, good. We could have hit we Veronica Vaughn and Billy Madison. I almost, I, mean, I thought on, about I, that. Would have been a pandering to to me, but uh, <laughs> might have got a you know a high score, but a bonus. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little boner bonus. <laughs> All right, so act, hot actors. We uh, uh, we got some of the, the the main big hitters, but who else would have been in the, the best actor category for y'all? I wonder. I I, I was thought I'd pull out uh, Burt Reynolds for Boogie Nights. Mm. 
Yeah, nominated for Best Supporting, which, again, that's one of those situations where it feels like that dude is in the movie pretty much the entire time. Like, he mm-hmm. should be a Best Actor nominee. So my, my, I mean, from Boogie Nights, I'm going Philip Seymour Hoffman. He's just he's so yeah. he's so limited though. I mean, Again, yeah, yeah. But, but I don't yeah. I don't disagree. But yeah, just like Parker Posey, it's just like so. Enough. So he, based on what I know now, Tim, how big of a, how how high do you have Tom Cruise from Jerry Maguire? Because I took Pitt and and Tom Cruise was my other option. I didn't even put him on my list. You love Jerry Maguire. Good call. You love but, Jerry Maguire, but you uh, think Tom Cruise sucks. You love Cuba. D- Dazed and confused. You love Cuba. Cuba, Cuba was amazing. <laughs> was he? Would he have been tops? W- yeah. Where was he on your list? He was number one. Gee, oh, god dang. It. Again, the fact that he wins Best Supporting Actor again, so stupid, so weird. I don't understand the Oscars yeah. whatsoever. Um, <laughs> was, was Chris Farley? Was Tommy Boy up there? I, yeah, I, Chris Farley. I, I thought about listed it. on. Yeah. So, so I, 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 I felt I, like yeah, I. I Put him at seven. So one that I thought of that I I just didn't know if Tim had seen it and I didn't have the balls to pick it. Daniel Bruhl in Rush is Nicky Lauda. Number three. That. Oh, you had oh, him down. Oh, Fuck, shit. he's on my list. And I was like, I don't think I'm going to take it because I just think it's too maybe unnoticeable. I, I wanted Robin Williams oh, anyway, shit. but I, I if if Robin, Robin Williams was number two for me. Okay, yeah. So he, he would. I don't know if I would have grabbed him or not. I think I was too scared to take him. And you don't like Marky Mark in uh, Goodwill? I mean, in uh, Boogie Nights? I didn't write him down. <laughs> uh, I mean, it is good, but there it's just better. What about Chris Pine or Mark Ruffalo? Either one of them? Could I, mm. No, okay, I didn't even know. Who that that I, I think I think I would have gone with uh, uh, not Chris Pine. Who's the other dude? Uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, um, Ben Foster. Ben Foster. Foster. I, so I, I, I debated that. Yeah. I, I like so. I, if I, I'm taking one from that, I'm taking Ben Foster. I love Ben Foster. I love, but Chris Pine in that movie for me is just like so fucking understated. Well, and Bridges so. is good too, though. Bridges. Yeah, that's a that's a banger. Um, um, all right, Christopher Guest, Spinal Tap. I did. I thought about that one too. Nigel Tufnell, I mean, is is an iconic character. And and how I, about Eddie Murphy coming to America? All the different <laughs> characters. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Any any. Any directors that we did not even meant did we that we didn't pick that were on your list? Uh, Cameron Crowe. Oh, yeah, that Mel was. Brooks. Yeah, oh, yeah, we did. Spaceballs counts. He actually got uh, the Stinker Awards best or worst director. Yeah, when looked, when Spaceballs came out, Spaceballs really? got a lot of hate. It's <laughs> wow. so weird. It's so That's weird. That's insane to me. <laughs> worst director of the year. Like I said, those people. I have no love for it. Like, yeah. if you can't appreciate Spaceballs for what it is, yeah, fuck off. I wanted but James Cameron and T two. Uh, I hate yeah. James. Yeah. James Cameron was forever tainted for me because of Avatar. <laughs> uh, it's such a fucking garbage movie that I hate so much <laughs> that I'm like, I'll never forgive you for that. I just saw the the clip of of uh, um, Tina Fey and um, who's the other girl in Saturday Night Live when they did the Oscars. Um, Tina Fey and they did the news oh, on Saturday Night oh, Live. Oh, oh, um, um, I'm blanking. Amy, Amy, Amy Poehler. Poehler. Amy Poehler. Amy Poehler. And they, they were talking about um, Zero Dark Thirty and Catherine Bigelow uh, and saying that how she understood torture because she was married to James Cameron for three years. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Um, Rob Reiner would be the only one the, the, that we oh. were, haven't mentioned. And yeah. Just because I love Rob Reiner and fucking Princess Bride and, and Few Good Men. He's just. I just love all his movies, but for Spinal Tap, I had Crow, Cameron Crow. Well, yeah. PTA, Paul Thomas Anderson. What he, Boogie Nights? Paul Thomas Anderson would have gotten anything or no? No. Shit. Well, <laughs> Brad, Brad lost with his I, team I, and also with his also hands. Right. Yeah. No, I was upset about PTA not getting chosen. That made me sad, but that's all right. Do, do we have any also rands for the wild cards? Like, this is what I'm curious about. Um, I had one, which was uh, best damned if you do, damned if you don't award. And that would go to the helicopter pilot who jumps out of the helicopter in T2. <laughs> because the fucking T2 melts into the helicopter. He says, get out. And it's like, you can stay in there with him or you could jump out of the helicopter. And he chooses to jump out. He immediately jumps out. <laughs> That's good. I uh, think I think Nate was right. And I definitely missed on uh, best armpits for Olivia Wilde and Drinking you, Buddies. I think that would have been, uh, yeah, best I armpits been a killer been a category. Killer, I think. <laughs> um, Tim, did you see um, High Tension? The horror movie? No. Okay, so oh. there was I had two for that, and I knew because t- I, I didn't think Tim had seen it. And the first is best nickname given to an on-screen character in a film from a member of BVK. 
Uncle Skullfucker. Oh, I, almost put <laughs> Uncle, I almost put Uncle Skullfucker on my best actor list just because I want to say Uncle Skullfucker. And, and so then kind of a similar one would be worst example of self-gratification. The runner-up being Ted shooting his load on his ear. <laughs> the winner would be Uncle, Uncle Skullfucker. Skullfucker. <laughs> Literally fucking the severed head. So uh, that's, Those are solid. We're going to go high tension. I definitely think we could have gone like Best transition from masturbating to murdering by uh, <laughs> by the, uh, the titular main character. Yep, uh, absolutely. I, I, my my other one was uh, be, uh, award for best celebration of a day of the week, and that would have been Billy Madison Nudie Magazine Day. Oh, oh, solid. That would have scored some points. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, that, that, I feel like an idiot. I don't know why, but I do. I feel like an yeah. idiot. Well, Scotch, I, I will yeah. say this, that uh, you have a, a trophy coming your way. I actually had one. I, uh, we were hoping that uh, uh, our, our our old castmate Nick was going to be here. Um, I actually have a, a trophy for him. So it's going to be something that gets a trophy. So each year of the bevies, you'll get a trophy. So do, do I get to hold on to it for a year? For the, No, no, no. Uh, it's oh. going to have your name on it. It's going to be oh, personal. Oh, I got my own trophy? Yeah. So now, oh, that, wow. now that I know who won, I will uh, I will scratch my name off and I will put your name <laughs> on it. So, uh, wow. But yeah, you're going to get a trophy. But uh, real quick, shout out to uh, our boy Nick. Uh, he just had his uh, second daughter was born just recently. Hell yeah. yeah. And yeah. Um, family's healthy, doing well, happy. So Nick, we love you, man. Atta boy, Nick. Yep. Yep, there you go, man. Way to put it in there. Way, way, so. to, way, to, way, to, drop, way to drop that we, seed, brother. We, we, we got a trophy for you, not for that particularly, but for actually for your your performance last year at the Bevies. You were we, the winner. We, we, no, it's for that. We got a we got, a, we got a, it's a it's a it's a mount of a broken condom. It's just it's just a sperm above a broken condom. That's the, that's what the trophy looks like. It's pretty sweet. Oh man! All right, so uh, yeah, I think we knocked this out. Yeah. What do we got next time? <laughs> <laughs> next time, BVK. <laughs> Nate, we're going your way, man. So uh, this is a strange one for me because uh, it was a, it was the first movie that I ever saw more than once in theaters. Oh. Um, I was, I think, let's see, I guess I would have been 15 when it came out. So, like, maybe part of it <laughs> had, you know, a little of my own agency to choose that. But I, like... I remember feeling like this is weird that I want to go back to the movie theater, but I'm going to go. And it wasn't like, you know, you see it and you want to see it with someone else. It was like, I saw it and I was like, I'm going to go back and watch that again in the theaters in four days. Um, and over the years, I think like at the time I thought this is the best movie I've ever seen. And over the years, I think it's, there's a drag race going on. At the, at the <laughs> yeah, is it a rush? Um, <laughs> like it. So, so we're going to do Forrest Gump and oh. it's a best picture picture winner. Mm-hmm. It's as iconic as any movie gets, right? It's one that that people, you know, everyone has seen it. Everybody has sort of a thought on it, it's, and it's really, really like kind of kind of controversial now. Not necessarily in a sort of like doesn't hold up way, but like there's a whole bunch of things about like some people really dislike the movie. Maybe even people that originally liked it. Right. There's a lot of people that sort of like think that Jenny in the movie is the devil. You know, it's like the worst <laughs> like human in, in, in ever in any depicted in a film. We're, so we're gonna spend some time with her, I'm sure. Anyway, so there's just it's a it's a polarizing movie that I think when it came out seemed like the most obvious universally liked movie of all time. And so um, I, I'm excited, and, and I think we're gonna have a special guest on. Yeah, we are from the Deluxe Edition Network, uh, fellow podcaster. We shall have Hilf. Don Brody. Don Brody. The, from from the history, history, I'd like, like to fuck. fuck. And if you have not checked it out, um, Hilf's podcast is, uh, well, Don Brody's podcast is amazing. She breaks down historical uh, events. She's recently done uh, Jack the Ripper. She's recently done The Donner Party. And it's a lot of fun. She really gets into the details. She reads some books about it before, and they really get down into the depths about these historical events. Yeah, she's a, she's a comedian, an actress, and then she also has a degree in history and just fucking devours that shit and has a really entertaining, fun way of, of bringing it to you. So it's a great show, and we can't wait to have her on. Yep, so Forrest Gump next week, and uh, we are we are kicking it with, uh, with health. Yep, and Tim Beck, thank you for coming on, brother. Thanks for having me. Thanks, brother. Fun. Awarding your, <laughs> uh, I'm so, I'm, I'm sure you're so proud to uh, award your brother with this uh, esteemed win and, and, a, and a trophy in his future, that he'll be able to show you and be like, you did this for me, brother. This was you. 
Oh, I'm glad to rightfully be back in last place. I was feeling uh, a little too on top of the world. I kind of knew that was you, Zach. I was so excited that you, your 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 loss to uh, draft ratio was zero, and I was just like, "Oh, how long is this going to stay that way?" And and now it's going to yeah, be not yeah. long. Dude, it's going to be twenty five. The answer is one episode. Yeah, <laughs> and, Fuck you guys. And Zach, dude, thanks for staying up late. We know you're over on the yeah another time zone. It's like what one o'clock in the morning yeah, right now. Yeah, it's one in the morning. Uh, yeah, I hate times. you guys. You only got to be up in like five hours. You don't don't even worry about it. You don't sleep anymore. Anyway. Uh, thanks, buddy. Hey, I love you guys. Thanks for being here, BBK. We're out. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.